Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. Welcome along to the second game of pre-season. Thank you so much for everyone's support on the first episode. That really, really did mean a lot. It was good to get the 1920 campaign off to a great start. Tonight, we're back off to Needham Market, this time for the first team in action against Colchester's under 23s. It's Friday night, it's 20 odd degrees, the sun is shining. It's absolutely glorious out there. I've just got back in from work. So what I'm going to be doing now is going to get myself all changed and sorted out. I'm meeting Adam in Needham and I'm really, really looking forward to this one. A couple of reasons why. Um, obviously, the first one being I saw the reserves for Needham on Saturday. And it'll be good to see the first team in action. And we're going to be back on grass rather than 3G pitches. And the second reason is that Colchester and their youth system is really, really good at the moment. And they are, as a whole club, relying on the youth to build a squad and then sell those players on. So this will be really interesting to see what the next generation um, have got available in them. So I'm really looking forward to seeing Colchester's um, under 23s tonight. Who knows, we may see the next uh, Sammy Smodix or Frankie Kent in amongst the lineup tonight. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a few moments, as I said, when we head off to Needham Market. Let's go, let's do this. So here we are at the home of Needham Market. Adam, your first time ever coming here. Thoughts? Apparently, yeah. Um, <laughs> is this nice? Yeah. They've got some good little pockets in the ground. That's the new hub that's there is Impressive. absolutely spectacular. Yep. Uh, yep. It's just a nice place to come and watch. To be honest, pitch looks lovely. Yep. Pitch is in very good condition. You would expect that, obviously, being first game of the season and whatnot. But uh, yeah, really excited about this one. Um, as, I, as I mentioned in my intro, Watch the reserves, now it's time for the first team on the main pitch, which is the grass, and we've got Colchester under 23s, the next kind of generation coming up through the youth system, and they're just training over there. Um, next, Sammy Smodix, next Frankie Kenny, you know, Frankie Kent rather. It's, uh, you know, who, who is going to be next through the Colchester production line, because they do work really hard in their youth. Yeah, um, I, I'm sure that a couple of these that are in this squad today might get a run out this season, just because of the way that Yep. Colchester run their team. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we haven't got hold of a team sheet just to be able no. to get some names to watch for later on in the season. Yeah, we, uh, we've we'll um, work on that. Though. We, we've been trying to get we've been trying to get one. We've been going around. We've, we've walked around here twice actually yeah. just to try and find someone that we can ask to get a team sheet. But uh, nobody's currently available. But if we are able to get a hold of one, that'll be quite interesting. Just so we can refer to kind of flush out who screen. you know who's who and whatnot. But yeah, we'll show you that. But what are you expecting tonight? Um, Do you know? I don't really because like it's, it can, it's a bit of a difficult contest. Like you're never going to see these teams meet in a league, no, at true. all. So you Very don't really true. know. And like Needham are not a bad side at all. No, so like Needham there's plenty, of, there's plenty of quality there. Yeah. Um, I just I, I think sometimes the experience that some of the older lads can have might shine through. Yeah. Despite the fact that you've got like a professional academy against a semi-professional side. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out if we're going to see a bit of showboating and some fancy touches from a pro yeah. team that you yeah. wouldn't see versus a bit of grit and experience and a bit of just plain yeah. simple football from the other guys. So that true. should be an interesting clash. Very I just want to true. see the ball hit the back of the net a few times because it's been ages since I last watched a game of football. Yeah, I suppose this is your first game of the season, isn't it? It is. This yeah. is, yeah, this is my first time back yeah. for a while. So, uh, see, I had seven goals in my first game back, so... Uh, no, no pressure. Do nice no pressure. Yeah. So yeah, we're, um, we're we've set ourselves up as a base kind of on this side of the pitch. Um, the sun is just absolutely horrific if you're looking this way. So it we're does potentially keep peeking through the clouds. Yeah, again. we're potentially going to be on this side in the first half, maybe on that side in the second half, but we'll see. Yeah. But um, yeah, see you guys when the teams are coming out onto the pitch and ready for the kickoff. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Come 
I'd probably say that's the first sort of decent bit of movement in the middle and has resulted in the goal. What do yeah. you make of it? Well, yeah, as soon as they seem to string one or two passes together, it seemed to go through at great speed. And yeah. Balls in the back of the net. It's almost as if it's caught Needham off guard a bit. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'd probably say Needham have had the best chances in the match. You can see what Colchester are trying to do. It just needs to be a little bit quicker in terms of their passing and whatnot. But They're trying to play a brand of football, aren't they? Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent trying to play Brown. But yeah, one 0 good goal to be fair to him. Uh, nice finish, great move. I would say goal of the season contender already. Absolute what a hit. Hing, if you do a Absolute goal of the hit. month competition, that's going to be featuring. Yes, uh, I am doing a goal of the month oh, competition. You are. So... I, I genuinely didn't know about that. <laughs> that, was, that was absolutely superb. Great um, great control inside. Got loose of his marker. Turn, shot. Confidence absolute, to hit it. Yeah. Beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. I think that's the case of anything you can do, I can do better. It's like someone's actually opened the doors on wow. the Wow, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, again, got himself into some space. A yeah, little bit of movement, flowing absolutely banged that. Great hit, 2-1. Yeah, Two, one. yeah. It again. that's the thing, one goal and all of a sudden the game has just kind of opened up. and um, Completely people. changed, really. Yeah, uh, you know, you go. good. End to end. Little, just want, just, you know, the freedom of a friendly, basically. Yeah. It's, it's finally it's, coming out. So. Wow, literally straight away from the kickoff, they win the ball back straight away. 3 1. Wow. I, I, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Like All of a sudden, it feels like uh, Colchester has just found a way to unpick Needham a couple of times. Yeah. The ball's been threaded through. Um, Exploiting some sort of weakness in there. Yeah, and uh, the ball is quite uh, comfortably found in the back of the net, but with yeah. nice, neat finishes. So, it's it. Uh, well done, Colchester. Yeah, fair that. play to him. 3 1. Oh. So half time, three one to Colchester. Thoughts, Adam? An interesting half. Like, I'm not really quite sure, like quality wise, what I expected. But yeah. the long moments where nothing much was really getting strung together. There's a lot of frustration. Yeah, from, more from the Colchester yeah. boys that you could hear. Yeah, Needham were trying to sort of weave some opportunities together, and they had some like snapshots. Yeah, they, they had the two kind of best chances in the first probably 20 minutes, I'd say. But then about that sort of time. one goal went in and the whole game completely was just torn up. apart. And then yeah. it's just closed down again. Yeah, I mean, Colchester, I mean, to be honest, they, they found they found a weakness. They found a way of playing against, ne uh, against Needham and they kind of took advantage of, you know, with that. Yeah. Two or three quick goals and, um, you know, three one and a half time and you're kind of wondering what, how the hell did that just happen? But, you know, I'm going to give Needham their props in the first their, their goal was an absolutely superb finish. I think it's three decent goals. Yeah. One of them was a bit, not quite, one of the Colchester goals, just not quite sure how it found its way through. But yeah, definitely. Three, three goals other than that that were very worthy of finding the back of the net. And yeah, so. yeah, definitely. That's the thing, they just kind of stepped up a level and took advantage and that's probably that's the best way I can probably sum up this half yeah. it, there was no, nothing really much happening it's in the first 20 of, minutes it's not energy is it? not really no to be honest you know this might sound very harsh but I actually saw more energy in the reserve game right yeah. from both reserve teams yeah. you know Bramford and from Needham compared to this one but as I said just a little bit of a step up a little bit of a step up in pace and a little bit of a step up in closing down and all of a sudden we got four goals in the game so you know got to continue that in the second half but yeah Colchester players decent. are staying out at half time. Yep, so interesting. Get Paul Jewell in the centre circle at some point. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a second half. That's Russell Short slipping over again for the second bloody time. Don't let Tarek score. Go on, go on. Yeah. Save Garnham. Oh, 
Schouten für die So I reckon we've got what about 10 minutes left. There's a bit of a drinks bait going on. Um, second half not really kind of it's been really disappointing. Yeah, I'll be honest. yeah, it, it has. It's not really the intensity hasn't really been there. It's it's gone very very quiet in in the second half. I just think um, I don't know. Needham just don't. It just doesn't feel as much enjoyment now. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a bit odd. You can tell it's the first game. It's, it's yeah. a bit of a slog. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> It's proven difficult, there's not much pace, no one's stringed together, nice passages of play really. Yeah. And the ball's just basically going from left to right. It's yeah. got a little and bit of uh, the Wimbledon about it. And obviously we've gone through the phase where both teams have made their substitutions and both have, you know... Quite a lot of it's, substitutions. It's, kind of, it's kind of slowed down the game again. But um, so hopefully, if, you know, we've got 10 minutes left, hopefully some of these guys who have, you know, have got a bit of fresh legs can just inject a little bit of something more into the game. We just want something to finish this, finish I, I, this off in I'm the final not, 10 minutes. I'm not expecting it, if I'm honest. I'm um, going to I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the positive side of it. I'm gonna th I, think those boys, I think the boys are going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. What, so seven, nine... Oh, yes! yes! Told you this game would liven up, didn't I? I've got to go. We have a goal. A first, like, passage we have a goal. play as well. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. Seven to go. Finally, a couple of string passes together. They they really worked it well in the middle here. I've it got came from all the way there. back in their own corner yeah. almost as yeah. well. Like, Did well. But first time we string some stuff together, we'll see a goal. Exactly. More of that, boys. More of that. We've got what? Seven or eight minutes to go. Got, got long enough to have one more. But, all right, yeah, I'm back on. <laughs> Full time three two in the end. Um, what do you make of Adam? That's, um, that that score line does not represent the quality of the game. I think I that's probably an accurate reflection of um, it. Yeah. You'd think three two. You've seen a lot of goals. It's probably been a lot of fun. Uh, the goals all came in a short burst by the one at the end and yep. we were left hanging for a long time with yeah. very little going on yeah. and no rhythm or pace to the game. It's unfortunate, yeah. It, yeah. it just didn't live up to what I was expecting. You can 100% tell that but that was the first, well, I don't think it was actually for Colchester, but for, for Needham perspective, you can tell that was their first game yeah, yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, um, ring rusty. Yeah, I think in all honesty, as I said, that I mentioned this just a moment ago, but I think the Needham reserve match the intensity from both of those teams was at a really high level and I just I don't know I just kind of presumed that that was going to be the case for this one as well but I don't know you know both teams were clearly wanting to try and play a certain way you you can yeah. probably say that Colchester will want to pass out from the back Needham just seemed to want to I don't know if directs the right way of saying it but it was it was uh, oh right okay um <laughs> But they both had a, they both had a way they wanted to play. But I just think that, as you quite rightly said, I think they could have taken it up another gear, and we could have had a fairly you know we could have had a decent game. But in, you know on reflection, we still we're talking about it. But you said it there, five goals. We've seen five goals, and we're we're kind of coming away from it going. Do you know what? I wanted Don't more. Don't know if I had the best time in my life. Though. I wanted it more. Yeah. You know, I wanted a little bit more. But you know, that's the way that's the way these thing, these things go. Um, as if from a preseason perspective, we've seen five goals. That's you know, that's that's something to. It's been, it's been a long wait say. for those five goals, like. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this summer has taken too long. Yeah, definitely. So. But uh, yeah, so that kind of wraps up this this game. Um, if any Colchester fans um, have been watching it and want my opinion on any particular players in the video, let me know in the comment section and we will uh, will reply to it because we were spending a lot of our second half just kind of watching, concentrating, concentrating R and rumor, watching players rather has than. It. Uh, we have. Uh, filmed a new first team signing tonight as well yes uh, so watch out for a centre back yes watch out for a centre back coming being announced very very shortly yeah. um, we're not going to say who but quite impressed yeah very composed calm on the ball definitely one good of the passing, uh, leaders yeah of the group. commanding yeah we'll, so. we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that but yeah if you've enjoyed the video make sure you hit the thumbs up uh leave a comment as well as i said if you are a colchester fan just so if you want to know any thoughts we know our thoughts on what happens on each individual player that'd be really good and um make sure you subscribe because there's going to be another video this weekend i'm off to uh witten versus witten town 
Um, that's going to be fun to say. Maybe see James Twenty times over. well as well. Yeah, I hope to catch I up with hope him. Hope to see him there. That'd yeah. be good. And, um, um, are you going to be joining me? It looks that way. Yeah. yeah so I think I'll yeah, be there is, for yeah. two in one weekend. That's it. So yeah. yeah, thank you very much, guys. As I said, like, comment, subscribe. Until we see you next time, as always. Adios. Adios.